Yo, 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 guys. It's Mr. Stamkos here, coming at you with another video. This is Trey Talk. It's Trey Talk. Yeah. Trade Talk. But yeah, so a big trade uh, happening here. Eric Howla gets shipped off to the Carolina Hurricanes, who uh, seem after that conference finals uh, loss to the Bruins are really making a push to get back there. Um, although they haven't really done a good job with it so far. I mean, Forsling and Forsberg for DeHaan and Sorella, not good. Anyways, so Eric Howla, a 28-year-old player from Vegas on a $2.75 million cap hit for one more year, um, had 15 games played in 2018-19. He was injured. Two goals, five assists for seven points, and a plus one. Um, and in his career, 357 games played, 73 goals, 78 assists, 151 points, and uh, plus 18 on uh, Minnesota Wild and the Vegas Golden Knights. And, um, yeah, those are the only teams he's played for, I believe. I believe. Don't quote me on that, but those are the teams that I remember him playing for. But anyways, Howla was a 7th round pick, 81st over, 181st overall back in 2009 by the Minnesota Wild. And, um, great steal. I mean, a really good player. I mean, his best year coming last season with Vegas, where he actually got a chance to play. 76 games, 29 goals, 30, 26 assists, and 55 points with a minus 16. Now, um, no, the minus 16 isn't so great, but... The rest, there's career highs for him, and uh, Minnesota didn't give him a chance, and that was the story of Vegas. Players that other teams didn't give a chance to, they took and they proved wrong. William Carlson, Riley Smith, who is known as a third liner. Carlson might not even make it into the NHL. He was just there as a third, fourth liner for the uh, Blue Jackets. And Vegas saw the potential in him, and well, look at him now. He just signed a new deal. So, they got from the Carolina Hurricanes, not Patrick Waugh. Oh, give me a minute. Ah, oh, who's, it's, uh, Jeremy Roy. Jeremy Roy, sorry. So, he was a fourth round draft pick, 96th overall in 2015 by, I believe, the San Jose Sharks. Um, and yeah, this is a 2019 Calder Cup champion who is on a $720,000 cap hit for one more year as well. Well, he will become a restricted free agent at the end of next season if um, Vegas doesn't want to sign him. And Vegas is looking like um, they're trying to get a bit more prospects since they gave a few of them away, like Suzuki, Branstrom. You know, two of their top guys are gone now, so they're trying to fill up that prospect pool now with uh, more guys that can help. And uh, a guy like P Nicholas Roy here can really come in next season, I think, on the fourth line and really just have a decent season there in Vegas. And I think Vegas is a really good place for players like uh, Nicholas Roy to go. Those players that really aren't expected to be much, but that um, coaching staff and general managing staff there at Vegas is really good with developing these young players. It really is over the past two seasons, and I know it's super early to say that, but it's true. There's, they've been really well with developing their players. So, yeah. So, 2018-19 Charlotte in the AHL for Charlotte, who won the 2019 Calder Cup. Congratulations to them. He had 69 games played, 17 goals, 19 assists for 36 points, and a plus 10 so this is a guy who does get an average 30 points in the AHL a year. He's only had two full AHL seasons, if you can even call 69 games full. Because I believe they only do play 76 games down there in the AHL, not 82. But in his NHL career, he has seven games played, so a little bit of experience. Not a lot, not enough. Um, zero goals, zero assists, zero points is plus zero. Just zeros across the board, so nothing special there. But his best in AHL season, and you can choose between 18-19 and 17-18, but these are his best two. He had 70 games played, 11 goals, 28 assists for 38 points, but also um, a plus 3, which is minus 7 from the plus 10 he had this season. 
compared to last season. So you can choose whatever one you want. I don't really care. I think they're both pretty equal. But he is a fourth round pick by the Sharks again, 96 overall in 2015. I believe he was um, a pick by the Sharks. Very positive about that. And uh, he had 15 points in 19 playoff games this season, too, on that Calder Cup run. So don't forget that. Um, pretty good, obviously. I mean, that's good playoff statistics for any player. And um, what Vegas also got is a conditional fifth-round pick in the 2020 draft. Now, I couldn't find out what the condition was for that pick, but... Um, if you guys want to look it up, then go right ahead. I couldn't find it personally on, um, NHL.com, so, I'm sorry, but, can't do much else, man. So, the winner of this trade, um, now, I honestly think that the winner of this trade right now is Carolina, getting a guy who can come in next season, play second line ice time, and Eric Kaula get... 40, 50 points is amazing, and he's only 28. Of course, he has one year remaining on that pretty good contract. He'll probably want around 3 to $4 million, but I still think that's a very good serviceable player to get, and um, I think the winner right now is Carolina. Now, I say right now because I think Nicholas Roy might be able to come in for that Vegas Golden Knight squad and be a good second liner in the future. Because the way that they develop players over there is very unique and amazing. They do an amazing job. And I love the way they do it. It's not Edmonton screwing up all their prospects over there. <laughs> like Philip Broberg. They're going to screw them up. I guarantee you that. So sorry, Philip, but you just went to the worst team possible for your situation. I think Pat J Jeremy Roy can really do good and flourish in that Vegas system. I think he will turn out to be a solid third liner. And if Eric Howell stays with the Hurricanes next, be past this season, this upcoming season, then I think they are the ultimate winners of this trade. If not, though, I think Jeremy Roy will resign with Vegas, and I think he will be a solid guy for them in the future. So, in the long run, Vegas might win this trade. But anyways, comment down below who you think won this trade, Carolina or Vegas. Um, smash the like button, subscribe. Oh, I, okay. Smash the like button, subscribe. I just got tangled up with my words and memory. Blech. And um, yeah, this is Mr. Stamkos. This is Trade Talk. Now we'll see you in the next one. But for now, bye.